Oh, I love it. I can taste it. I could eat it. And that would be bad. Eating gold's bad. It's metal. There's no nutritional value. But I'll tell you what, there's nutritional value in. Value for your evil soul. Nourishment for your wicked spirit. You know where you can find that? Evil Genius 2! <laughs> for we return! And not only do we return, but this guy is dead. This guy is... This guy is, is dead. He's, he's, um... Mr. Plankton? <laughs> Mr. Plankton, no! Yes! We return in the future, for time has progressed, yes indeed. We have a nefarious series of traps, a, a wind blower that launches would be do good as through laser beams into a bubble trap, into a freeze beam before being attracted to a magnet! It's very good. We have super power plants, much bigger rooms, the ability to dig through the hard rock, and of course, the golden inner sanctum. <coughs> and it is looking absolutely fantastic. It really is. We are having a wonderful time, especially as we've also managed to get ourselves mercenaries who are all about those weaponry. We've managed to get ourselves our socialites. They are basically Mr. and Mrs. Populars to distract the tourists so that our valets can focus on the agents. And uh, that is looking very, very good. Well, we are actually at worker cap, though granted we have 116 workers, so I don't think that's too much of an issue. We also have some stairs to access the upper floors, which I can't access yet, because I need to do more research. Research into what, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Advanced mining techniques. That's what we're doing currently. Well, I, well, I mean, I, I've bought a country. I will say that. I have actually bought a country. I, I bought England. I mean, somewhat fittingly. I tried to bribe the world with money. They said no. So Operation President of the World didn't work. And now I'm working on a doomsday device that will turn everyone and everything in the entire planet to, to gold. <laughs> Currently, though, I'm uh, stealing the Sands of Time, an ancient artifact that warps reality after I already stole a flying pig. So... You know, that's a, that's my first super ill-gotten gains. It's a, it's a pig machine. I raided, like, a top-secret intel organization in America for that flying pig. I, I need you to, I need you to be aware, aware of that. So, let's start some more research. We want to keep it going. We've unlocked various uh, cool little things for our base, but for now... We're going to get a club rack, because I think our guards need to be better at beating people to death. That, that seems like it's something that I want. Go a little bit faster then, let's speed things up and uh, get on with our evil scheming. So I've got a little extra guards office here just to help protect the front of the base a little bit more, because, you know, we're, we're getting a lot of, uh, how do you say it, um, interference from agents. Invalid! We don't need to get to that space, honestly. Who's going to stand? in there. It's a little cubby hole. There's going to be some worker in there like, oh, oh, this is cozy. I like this. I like this a lot. But that's all right. And I do like this a lot. I like this game a lot. So thank you very much to Rebellion for once again sponsoring this little evil series. It absolutely means a lot. The first game being just, just an absolute gem in my top 10. And so many years later, able to play. It's just... Fantastic to see what the sequel has done. So refined and polished and it just feels like all the best stuff but better. Talking of the best stuff but better, I have a henchman! Yes, I do! It is Old Man Jubei. And this is really cool because he was my henchman in the first game as well. So Jubei is our first evil major henchman who has actual badass abilities and is quite the powerful fighter. And now he's old, so he's aged, which is a little bit weird because, uh, you know, the, the evil genius hasn't aged, but look at him! He's so awesome! <laughs> 
He is an ancient, wizened uh, sword master that I have rehired to be my right-hand man. Yes, indeed. He is very powerful. He's like your, your super soldier. He's, he's the evil equivalent of uh, uh, the super agents that they send against you. Like evil James Bond level, but for you, uh, the villain. So, uh, can I finally uh, take the final piece? Can I do it? Do I have uh, the guards back up? Area in lockdown can't run schemes? How dare you lock me down! There is just so much to do in this game. So many minion types to unlock, so many items to research and upgrade your rooms with, and as you learn to dig through the harder and harder stone, which I can now, you of course can make your base bigger and bigger, refine it more and more. Like I extended the comms room, which is now pretty commy, to have a big screen that you can't really see unless you walk all the way around here, so... You know, that's 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 quite nice. But in any case, let's get our baton wreck just so the guards can arm themselves. That's very, very nice. Better power supplies, the fusion generator. <sighs> yes, indeed. Complete six additional tier three research to unlock, and we've not even unlocked tier three research, so it's going to be a while before that happens, if I'm honest with you. And we kinda do need to really solve this power issue. We really, really do. Simply, oh, we could just, we could just put more generators around here. Boom! All right, that should work out. It's going to cost a lot of money, more money than we have, but at the same time, we are going to get that huge boon again. And oh, the traps! Yes, laser them! Laser them all! Bubble them up! Freeze them! Magnet them! <laughs> I love the traps so much! 97, 98, 99. A game of so satisfyingly watching bars fill, and that is that is honestly in the truest sense wonderful. Like there really is just so much. Yes, boom. You know, I'm quite happy with my layer currently. A little bit sparse on a few items, but look, if you really want to put the time into it, you can seriously decorate up everything. Like look, you can get a cute cactus. Why would you not want a cute cactus? Just right there on the wall. Look at it next to it. There's so many plants and random decor items and you can really make one gorgeous, sexy, meticulously planned evil lair. And there is something very, very much lovely about that. Come on, research, 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 research the fact that I'm going to get you another data bank because I want research to happen faster. Sell this, sell it, sell it all, sell it all. We don't need it. Confirm. Hopefully that doesn't take our power down too much. And that's all well and good. And you know, I guess just in case, I will just add another extra row of these guys. As I think that makes sense. We just don't want to run out. There is nothing more annoying than running out of it. And hey, stylish and deadly. This array of hidden darts will leave no enemies reeling. Cool. All right, going against the grain. Defeat the time saboteurs in the lair. The time saboteurs? The time saboteurs? Quality excellent. Oh my god, all right. Well, you know what? I bet they can't stand up to my main man. Do it! Do it! Kind of look at them and then they'll die! Yes, I like it. Oh, they're actually kind of really doing a number on him. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, thrown my henchman at these really effective time saboteurs. He's actually dying fairly quickly. He'll win, but he's going to need a lot of health recovery, which is a little bit sad, but that's okay. We at least defeated the uh, saboteurs. All right, time to finally... God, I have been working on stealing the sands of time so I can move forward with my evil plan to turn the world into gold and rule over the riches. Oh, for a while. All right, where are you, you final stealing goddamn... All right, there we go. Let's let's reduce some heat in this region. That's probably a, a good thing to do. We are, in fact, very, very hot here, you know. And then we can finally go grab it. Ooh, boom! If you guys could take the elevator, like go go up to the. Why are you all just crammed in the entrance there, team? Just, just go up. J just go, just go up. What, what? Get on the helipad. 
get to the mission, all right, and then jobs are good done. God. Oh, who are they waiting for? There's a worker just not doing it. Honestly, workers are the worst of the hench people. And launch. Launch. Yay! It's going. It's fired. It's fired the helicopter. It's going to crash down right on the project. And lo and behold, we will steal the sands of time. No, they know about the trap. They've disabled it. How dare they? But we have acquired the sands of time. And that is what I like to see. There we go. The Midas device will be born. No more delays. The Midas is the world gold changing. Few more delays. There's some components to solve. Which component? All of them. <laughs> Secure Midas parts on the world stage. Where are the Midas parts? Criminal network level 2 required, which needs more broadcast strength. How dare you imply that the strength of my broadcast is not maximum. This is absolute heresy. Heresy of the highest order. Alright, let's do that. I also would like to move that just so... You know, we can actually access the screen, make the whole place a little bit more friendly. That seems like a way to go. Death moat? That sounds kind of fun. This mysterious assassin's crosshairs. Just gather data on how they die. All right, let's 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 see how death moat. Ling journalist, Padma Banerjee, dead. And authorities are baffled how. To the ape type that dead that I didn't touch. I mean, we just, just claim credit, okay? That's that's the main thing. Just claim it's you, and then all is well with the world. All right, we can upgrade that soon once we have uh, this done. Area in lockdown. Cannot run schemes. Oh, it's just gone lockdown as well. Okay, so what we're doing is going to known assassination targets of this mysterious assassin. And instead of, like, doing anything about said assassinations, what our plan is is to just watch how they die in the hopes that we can learn something from that. And I think that is absolutely just wonderful. So now we have a lot of missions waiting to get sent, but that's okay. Eventually, eventually, eventually. Oh god, there is such a queue. There is so many people waiting for copters. Oh god, speed it up. Speed it all up. For the love of everything, speed it up. <laughs> okay. Nothing to... Worrisome in the base. That's what I like to see. We don't want worrisome bases. No, we do not. They are a stress on every evil genius's brain. They very much are. Alright, we can secure the Midas parts. That is good. And start surveying the deaths. Well, we can't survey those deaths, but we can survey other similar deaths. Like this death. Well, we can't, we can't do that. Until that's upgraded. But we're working on it, alright? God damn it, we're working on it. They're all ready to go. <sighs> Please just... Where are... There's so many people just crammed in here. This is so awkward. Just get the chopper down, pile them on, and everything is good, right? Just do them all. Do a round trip. Just get every... Just get all 50 of them. Just pile them in, and we'll just... No! Oh, God. Well, we're trying. Well, we are trying. That's that's the thing. We're we're trying. We're goddamn trying. Basically, I just want the tiniest amount of power area around the armory, and then what I'm going to do is move this incinerator into there so they can access it through the armory, and that's where we can dispose of bodies which will make things a lot easier and let me still keep the utility of having this nearby without having to really put too much into it. So I think that kind of works out. And then finally, we can actually decommission this power area and uh, all will be well with the world. Let's sell that, take this back to rock and sell that, take it back to rock. And there we go. I like that a lot. God, the build interface is so good in Evil Genius 2. Like, it was fine in 1. 
but it is so, so much better now. It really is. Finally going to acquire some Midas parts. Yes. Well, domination will be ours. It'll be ours. There we have it. Dig an entrance to the lowest level of the cavern. Ooh. All right, guys. It's about to happen. We have made our way to the cavern. I'm blind in my ways. has knocked out the power. Okay. Please tell me a gold left to buy a better fuse box. Oh my! That's uh, Midas Stage One. This liquid gold molten core that, of course, is made of statues of Maximilian pouring it in. <laughs> So everything but lead turns to gold and exposed to this cauldron's compound. That's... That's amazing. Alright, activate Midas using your impressive desk. Okay. Activate Midas. Do it. Walk and waddle your way. Oh god, he is sprinting! <laughs> He knows how to move quick! Good lord! Do it. Nice. Gather atomic particles from the world stage. Ah, oh, that's so cool. And thus begins our quest for a world domination. So what we'll do is slowly go through the main missions, building up this device, getting everything it needs to be functional while fighting off the forces of justice, refining our base, making it look gorgeous, researching everything, having fun with it, unlocking more minion types, and generally becoming the most evilest of evil geniuses there ever was. Oh, look at it. But for now, guys, that'll do. My doomsday project has begun, and there is only one way to go from here. <laughs> Like if you enjoyed this little mini-series, let me know if you would indeed like more, but for now, subscribe for said more, and I'll see you next time. Oh good! Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye